What's up guys, today here we're gonna review the REI Traverse 32. It's a great lightweight pack, very durable, made from all recycled material with this very minimalist design. I picked this up a few months ago for the season and I'm taking it on my first hike today. So this bag right here comes in three different sizes, a small, a medium, and a large. Only the medium is a true 32 liter bag. The small is only 31 liters and the large is actually 33 liters. This one right here is the medium. It has a 19 inch torso and fits a size 32 to 42 waist. No matter what size pack you get, it's gonna be the same price at $140. This pack weighs two and a half pounds, which is pretty standard for a day pack of this size. It has an internal steel wireframe, which makes it light yet very durable. So the Traverse 32 is the updated version of the REI Traverse 35. Uh, and the main difference between those two packs is the back. The REI Traverse 35 used to have a mesh backing with a space in between the pack, but REI decided to scrap that to maximize durability since mesh offers a lot more opportunities for, for wear and tear. Uh, so they replaced it with this foam padding. We have this continuous foam padding from the hip belt into the lower back, and then we have a space to allow for breathability, and then another series of continuous foaming up through the shoulders and around these dual hip belt pockets up here in the front are very spacious. In this one, I have plenty of room for my phone and a pocket knife, as well as more stuff if I feel the need. And on the other side is where I keep some snacks and some other random accessible things um, that I might need like chapstick or something I just need quick access to. And on either side of the pack, you have your water bottle holders. These are also very spacious and something unique about them is that they're slanted forward so you can easily reach them while you're hiking without having to take your pack off. As you can see, I fit my full 32 uh, ounce hydro flask in here, no problem. And on the other side, I have additional water as well as some sunscreen. All right, moving on to the back of the pack, we have this one extra exterior pocket here. Uh, like I said, our Etroverse 35 is very minimalist, so this is the only it's, it's pretty big, but it's the only exterior pocket. And it doesn't close all the way. It opens at the top with this tiny little buckle. And then up here is the brain, which I'd say has decent room. We open it up here. I've got my car keys. There's a little hook you can attach some chains to. I have my wallet, a little notebook, as well as Sorry about that, a headlamp. So before we check out the inside of the pack, I just wanna make a note on how tiny these clips are. I haven't had a problem with them yet, but even my dainty little fingers have a hard time squeezing them in there. So that just might be something to look out for if you got big meaty sausage fingers. So opening it up in here, we got this little uh, interior pocket here where we have the rain jacket. That covers your pack when it gets rainy outside. I'll show you that in a second. Moving into the main compartment, the main 32 liter compartment, it's very, very spacious. As you can see, we fit several additional bags inside of this bag, including this Eddie Bauer 30 liter. The rain cover is yellow in color and covers the entire body of the pack, except for the front hip pockets. Like I said, the main compartment of the bag, it's very deep. You can adjust the width of it with the exterior straps out here. And there's also this side zipper that goes all the way down, so for easy access deep into the bag. All right, the last main feature of the pack is the hydration compartment to put your, your uh, water bladder, and you can feed that through either side of the, uh, of the shoulders. And they can come out here down the shoulder and hook up in this little hook right here. So overall, I think this is a great pack, especially for the price point. Uh, it might be a little bit of an awkward size for a day hike, 32 liters is a little bit on the larger side, but if you're going for a longer hike or maybe a minimalist overnight, I think it's the perfect pack. It's light yet super strong, super durable, and I'm sure it'll last you for many years.